Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing another game that's near and dear to my heart. You may be able to guess what it is because you can see the title of this video. Uh, it is a GameCube title, uh, but you already know that of course because you can see the title of this video. You know exactly what it is. But yeah, after playing Origami King and being disappointed and after playing Bug Fables and being impressed, I thought it would be nice to play the pinnacle of this series. Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door. Ahem, today, I'm going to tell you the story of the Thousand Year Door. An awfully long time ago, in a strange and far off land, a big bustling town thrived. It was a town where all people lived very happy lives, and it was said that the town was very prosperous. But one day, tragedy befell this blessed place. A great cataclysm struck the town and its people. Darkness filled the skies, and the earth roared and shook. It was as if the very world had come to a violent end. And in but a single night, the town sank into the depths of the earth. Many moons rose and set. Stories of the town passed into the pages of fairy tales, and when the town's site no longer held relics of its past, people gathered at that spot and built a new town. The word soon spread among the people who moved in that an ancient city lay deep underground and that a magnificent treasure rested there. Indeed. This is the tale of the fabled treasure of Rogueport. Yes, this is where it begins, in the sea town of Rogueport, the tale of the quest for the legendary treasure and the thousand year door starts here. Rogueport. Finally, I have a minute without Toadsworth watching over me. He's so paranoid. I come all the way here on holiday only to be stuck with Toadsworth. It's so stifling. Once in a while I'd like the chance to look around on my own and see what I want. But now that I'm doing it, all I see is that this town has a very distinct flavour. Oh, Missy. Missy. Do you mean me? Yes, you, Missy. Won't you buy something? I have a wide assortment of knickknacks and doodads. Oh, well, um... Well, that's a pretty box. What's inside it? It is said that this box holds a map that shows where a legendary treasure sleeps. The box has a magic lock on it that will only open for a pure and noble heart. As you can see, it won't so much as budge if one such as myself touches it. Ooh. I know. If the box will open for you, Missy, then you may have whatever is inside. I'm sure that whatever is in there will be of no use to someone like me. Oh, Missy, take this box in your hands and see what happens. Um, alright. What's the harm? I'll try to open it. Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door Plus. <laughs> uh, the plus means I'm actually playing a ROM hack of the Thousand Year Door. Uh, this game has a bunch of changes to the text and stuff, like it fixes things that change in localization. The most important thing is that in the original Japanese game, Vivian, who is my favorite character, is trans. Uh, in the original localization of the game, she, like that was completely erased, but in this localization, with the ROM hack, that's been put back. You may also notice the game is like snapping in and out of widescreen. It should stay widescreen once we're a little bit in. The thing is, this is a GameCube game, so it wasn't designed to display in widescreen. So it'll jump around a little bit, and some things might look a bit, a bit weird, but for the most part it should work fine. Uh, as you can see, you get four files. Um, and oh, we're also using um, an HD texture pack, uh, so things will look a bit nicer than they otherwise would. Because, uh, yeah, this, again, this is a GameCube game. It would look a bit uh, low res on this uh, 1080p 
uh, video you're looking at uh, if I hadn't enabled the texture pack and all that. Anyway, um, I always name my files in Paper Mario games Mario. Just, you know, you're playing as Mario. Makes sense. Saving settings. Don't touch the memory card in slot A or the power button. The progress was saved. I don't know if you can see the little pop-up there. I don't know if that got recorded. It just said it saved, basically. Mario. Uh, we saw this same Mario's house in Paper Mario for the um, N64. This is like a callback to that game. Mail call. It's Luigi. Hey bro, check it out. You need to sound Italian, but I can't do an Italian accent. Uh, a letter from Princess Peach arrived up for you. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'll just read it to you. How's that sound? Ahem. Now let's see here. Hello there, Mario. I am now on holiday, traveling in the Mushroom Kingdom. In my travels, I came into possession of a mystical map. A treasure map, actually. It was inside a box I got from an old merchant in a town called Roadport. Since it would be too difficult for me to try to go find treasure all by myself, I thought you could help me hunt for it. You will, of course, won't you? I've cleared the map with this letter, so please bring it when you come with you when you come. I'll meet you at Roadport. That means you must come. Peach. What do you know? It's true. There's a weathered old map in here with the letter. Check it out. Yeah, that's pretty weathered and old. Now, this is an example of the stuff that doesn't look right in widescreen. Those green parts would normally be invisible. Uh, there'll be a few more instances of that, but I think it's mostly just in the intro that things look wrong. It should be okay once we get into the game. You have to press a button there to advance past the title screen. A little weird. A rogue's welcome. Again, this scene doesn't quite make sense because it's supposed to cover the whole screen with that black overlay, but there's some gaps because of the widescreen. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Please wake up, sir. The town you've been speaking of has come into view. Look, that's Rogueport. You see? We'll arrive shortly. Please prepare to disembark. Here we are in Rogueport. I must apologize, sir. Our arrival was delayed just a bit by rough weather. Are you quite sure you want to disembark here? I... I did tell you all the sordid tales about Rogueport on our way here, did I not? What's that? I'm sorry, you said there's a princess waiting here for you. Is that so? Uh, of course, sir. Well, if that's what you think, I won't try to stop you. But, uh, you be careful, sir. Don't say I didn't warn you. And so the game begins. Rogue port. So yeah, we're Mario. In this game you start with a hammer and you can jump. Uh, in the first Paper Mario you didn't start with the hammer. Uh, you actually got it a little bit into the story, but roughly the same. So yeah, we can walk around. Uh, if you tilt the just a little bit, you move slower. Uh, the D-pad, uh, if you hit the Z button, which is actually minus because I'm using a Pro Controller, you can see it's got gear and journal on the D-pad. Uh, so gear is, yeah, your items and stuff show up there. Uh, the menu you'll notice looks a little bit weird uh, because of the uh, widescreen hack, but it's alright. Uh, I think that's... yeah, you can look at the at the magical map or whatever here. So there's Rogueport. You can look at information about it if you want. Uh, cool. 
Uh, here's Mario, we have 10 health, we have 5 flower points, we have 3 badge points. Exactly the numbers we should have. <laughs> uh, you can press plus to open this menu as well, that would normally be start, but plus, because I'm using weird things. Anyway, yeah, minus brings up uh, just that little overlay there, we can put it away if we want. Uh, y and X don't do anything yet, but they will. All the buttons don't do anything yet, but they will. Oi, welcome to Rogueport. Bit of a nasty place, eh? You got guts coming here. You look a bit green, so I have a wee bit of advice on me. Hit that save block to save. Cause the thing about life is, you never know when you're gonna kick the old bucket. But yeah, save blocks are still a thing in this game. Hit this block to save all the events you've experienced so far. Even if your game ends, you can continue it from the last point you saved at. Anytime you find a block like this in your adventure, be sure to save. Save all game progress up to this point? Yes. So yeah, it doesn't tell you that every time, you just hit the block and it, it just lets you save, it doesn't go through all that. <laughs> Hello little toad. What you want pal, huh? A princess in a pink dress? I ain't seen nothing like that, no. I remember a princess, probably. Why do you want this chick anyway pal? Owe your money? Or is she your girlfriend? <laughs> I don't know, I'm trying to do like roguish voices. <laughs> hey, what do you want? Get away from me freak! Oh, come off it, you airhead. I know it's tough for you, but don't play dumb with me. I've seen you walking around town asking for information about the crystal stars. Well, now I'm doing the asking, so be a good girl and tell us what you know. Right. Now. Never. I don't have anything to say to you, creeps. Ooh. Suppose it wouldn't be right if a sassy little lass like you met with an untimely demise. Bah. Bah ha ha ha. Boys, we're taking this firebrand to our fortress. As you command, Lord Crump, we're on it. N no stop right there, you weirdos. I'll scream. Really? Oof, oof, half, oof. Out of the way, you scallywag. Move your ever-loving bones. I think you're a pirate. I should have done a pirate voice. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> like I go anywhere with smelly lunatics like you. Hmm, not likely. What? What do you think you're doing, chump? You think you can screw up my plans? Gah, it's always something. Looks like I'm gonna have to give you a little taste of the old crumper bomb. Okay, so this is the first little combat tutorial. I don't think you can lose this one. Can't flee this fight. Battle time, Mr. Man. Just find a way to beat this freak of the week, okay? Don't sweat the details. Just jump on him and him with your hammer. Uh, as you can see, you've got a very similar, like, option wheel to the one you have in Bug Fables. <laughs> because, yeah, Bug Fables is very much inspired by this game. Uh, you've got Defend and Run Away, there you go. Uh, you've got your Hammer, which has the same thing as, um, Kabu's Flip attack. You hold the stick and then release it at the right time. Items, I don't have anything. Let's we'll leave with a jump. But yeah, you got Action Commands. Wait, you know that hurt. Wow, I gotta say, you're tougher than you look. Keep it up and you'll beat him in no time. And yeah, you can defend with action commands as well. It's very similar. You've got him on the ropes. Come on, keep wailing on him. You did it! You did it! Yes! And you got star points! Yeah, I bet you know, but you get these things called star points when you win battles. When you get a hundred points, you'll go up a level. Don't forget that, okay? <laughs> bah, 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 ha, ha. Okay, you got a couple decent shots in, I'll give you that. But, unfortunately for you, that means... It's go time! Uh There's so many of them. Punish him. You might notice uh, these little... These little minions or whatever are looking a little lower res than everything else. The reason for that is that the HD texture pack I'm using is a work in progress. So some parts, some parts of the game aren't gonna look as good as the rest, unfortunately. Uh, but I don't think it's much of it. We'll see. Quick, this way! Phew, what a bunch of loons. Let's just sneak out of here. What do you say? 
And yeah, they just keep attacking over there and we can just walk away. We're all good. It is do. <laughs> uh huh. Stop. Where'd they go? Huh? You, Johnson, did you see them? Did anyone? Uh, crud, they bolted. <laughs> wow, mister, you totally saved me, thanks! I have just got to give you a little reward. My name's Goombella. I'm a student at the University of Goom. Nice to meet ya. So, uh, who are you? Mario? Wait, you don't mean, like, that famous guy? Wow, I can't believe I met you here. Cool. Anyway, no offense, but it looks like you just rolled into town yourself, right? Me, I already hate it here. There are freaks and weirdos everywhere. It's nasty. I mean, I know the place is called Rogueport, so I should have expected it, but sheesh. Never come to a place like this if there weren't some legendary treasure here. What? You're looking for legendary treasure too? Seriously? Whoa, 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 bucko! What you got there? Oh my gosh, is, isn't that a treasure map? You have to tell me where you got that. Princess Peach? What? Great oogly boogly, if it isn't Master Mario. Bit of a coincidence bumping into one another in this sort of place, hmm, ho ho. Now tell me, Master Mario, what in the world brings you to this wretched little bug? Hmm, ah, indeed. Princess Peach sent you a letter and a treasure map. And she told you she'd meet you here in Rogueport. Intriguing. <laughs> You're asking me where Princess Peach is? Um, I was about to ask you that. We stopped in this town to acquire a spot of fuel for our ship, don't you know? I only took my eye off her for a moment, but as soon as I did, she vanished. You know how headstrong she is, Mario. I just assume she'll be back momentarily. But at this point, I feel we must embrace the possibility that she may never return. I've been at a loss as to what to do. I've been fraught with worry, I tell you. But I'm feeling better with you here, Master Mario. Surely we'll find her. Surely. I know my place, Master Mario, and this is not it. I leave this task to you. I believe I'll recline in the inn right over there and enjoy a spot of tea, perhaps. In fact, I highly recommend it, particularly if you find your HP heart points running low. Just drop on in, ho ho. Yes, anyway, a little rest there will fill all of your HP. I must say, though, the rest of this town is a bit rough. Yes, rough indeed. Um, Princess Peach? Did he mean, like, Peach the Mushroom Kingdom Princess? The princess who always gets nabbed by Bowser, the Koopa King, the one you rescue? Wait a sec, this is crazy! Princess Peach sent you that treasure map. Whoa, this is really intense. Well, where could she have gone then, do you think? You think maybe she got sick of waiting and went to find the treasure on her own? Oh, oh, I know Mario, come with me! One of my professors is here researching that treasure, we'll show him your map. If we start looking for the treasure, then maybe we'll catch up to Princess Peach. Great, we're all good then. Let's go, Mario. Goombella joined your party. Goombella's abilities, a primer. Press X to get information about nearby people, places, and objects. This is Rogueport Plaza. It's the center of town in the main business district. It's a crossroads where many people meet, including more than a few shady characters. Anytime you press X while there's no one around, I'll tell you about where we are. That's Goomster the Goomba. He's always complaining about being swindled or mugged. If you press X when there's somebody nearby, I'll tell you about him or her. About them. Goombella, about them. My goodness. So, did you get all that? Goombella can give you hints when she answers, so ask her her information often. And of course, Goombella can be quite helpful in battle too. He jumps in the air to attack enemies with a nasty head bonk. You can also look up enemy HP and weaknesses with her Tattle ability. 
So yeah, uh, tattling is what it it's it's called spying in um bug fables, but it's the same ability. You can tattle on enemies. It gives you their health and it tells you like defense and stuff like that. First off, we gotta go find my professor. Thing is, since I just got to town myself, I um don't actually know where he lives. Keep an eye out. Here's what Professor Frankly looks like. Okay. Okay, here we go. Uh, as you can see, uh, this is Rockport's main square. It's sort of the central shopping area, I guess. There are lots of regular working folks here, but there's all, there are also ne'er-do-wells. If you venture into the back alleys, be ready to deal with some nasty sorts. Uh, you can see on, on the HUD now that Gimbella has health as well. This is a feature of Thousand Year Door which was not in the first Paper Mario. Only Mario had health in the first game. Uh, but in Thousand Year Door, the party members also have health and take damage separately. Uh, and Bug Fables does the same thing, of course. The three party members all have separate hells. And yeah, if we press X now, then yeah, Gimbella talks about stuff. And if you go up to someone and press it, that guy's a local Goomba. Give you advice and stuff, so he's okay. His tips totally might come in handy, so you ought to talk to him as often as possible. Oops, pardon me, sucker. Hey, what's your beef, pal? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Mario, you gotta wake up. That guy just stole half of your coins. That is so lame. Ugh, I hate this town. <laughs> You can go to see like various stuff this early in the game, but I'm probably just going to head to the next part of the main story, uh, which is in this house over here. Oh, hi, there you are, Professor Frankly. Was that ah? Who's there? Who wants me? Ah, yes, you. Now, you, uh... I've seen your face before. Yes, that face. Wait for it. Just a moment. Don't tell me now. Silence. I'll get it right. Um, it's not Goombriel. Uh, it's not Eliza Goom. Eliza Goom? El Eliza Goom? <laughs> um. Um. Aha, I've got it. You're Gumbella, aren't you? You were in my archaeology class last year, am I right? Well, yes, sir, that's me. I'm Gumbella, a junior at Ugoom. Go Goombas! Of course, I remember you. Not to toot my own horn, but I'm pretty good at remembering. You, though, you stick out in my mind because you were such an exceptional student. And that guy behind you is... Who? <laughs> Mario, Professor, he's Mario. You know, the famous one. Oh, my apologies. I'm such a bookworm. I haven't a clue about what's hip right now. <laughs> In any case, what sort of errand brings you to all the way to a place like this? We were hoping you'd tell us about the legendary treasures that are below Rogueport. I thought that if anyone knew anything about it, you would, Professor Frankly. Of course I know about it. The reason I came here was to study that very subject. But why do you tykes want to learn about the legendary treasure? You know that most say it's a little more than a fairy tale, don't you? Archaeologists and historians have to search for the truth in these those fairy tales, though. Me, I believe the legendary treasure truly does exist, and I really want to find it. Good point, and well made. In that case, I'll cooperate with you however I can. First of all, about the treasure. There are many mysteries surrounding it. Some say it's an infinitely vast treasure hoard, while others say it's a magical item. Some books say it's actually a monster, while still others claim it's an empty chest. There are many different theories. Obviously, it's impossible to divine the truth among them. But all agree on one point. To find the treasure, one must have the crystal stars. To find the treasure of yore, take the seven crystal stars to the thousand year door. You mean the crystal stars in that old saying that super elderly people passed down? Indeed, the same. As the saying goes, if you want to find the legendary treasure, you first must collect the seven crystal stars. Hold the magical map aloft before the entrance to the Thousand Year Door. Then the stars will light the way that leads to the Stones of Yesterday. Yeah. 
A lot of the lore I've read says that if this magical map is taken to the doorway, then it'll show you where to find the crystal stars. Correct. And the thousand year door is supposedly here, deep beneath this town. Yet the critical piece of the puzzle, the magical map, is lost. If only we had that map. But we do have it, Professor. Or, well, not we exactly. Mario has the magical map. What? I'm gonna hubba 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 really? <laughs> you, you actually have it? Could I just take a quick look at it, if you don't mind? Astounding, this is it. The real thing. The one and only magical map. You son of my hero. You're great, fantastic, wonderful even. With this, we can find the crystal stars just by holding this aloft before the legendary door. Right on, Professor. Good golly, what are we doing just sitting here then? Bella, Mario, off we must go this instant. Let's take the magical map, the legendary door. Okay, uh, where is it? <laughs> I bet you didn't know this rotten old thing came off, did you? Ha <laughs> ha. We can use this pipe to get down onto the city streets. Come on, both of you, let's get moving. Oh wait, hang on a second. Mario, something just occurred to me. I'm fairly certain there are quite a few hoodlums below, so uh, keep your guard up. You two do know about your action commands, don't you? I'm gonna say nope, just so you can see what the tutorial is, but I do know about them, as you may have noticed. Hmm, positively shocking. In that case, you ought to take a second to learn them. We'll have a little practice session. Goombella, you can be Mario's opponent. What? Me? Are you nuts? Oh gee, um, uh, okay, I'll do my best, I guess. First, we'll practice the jump action command. Is that okay with the both of you? Choose the jump command, then choose which enemy you'll attack. Jump. You notice the point is not quite in the right spot? I believe that's to do with the widescreen hack. <laughs> it's not quite lining up the HUD with where everyone actually is, which is interesting. When you choose your target, the action command details appear down below there. There. Right there, Mario. Just before you land on your enemy, press A again. You'll know you did it right when Nice appears. You can do more damage this way. Now it's your turn to attack, Goombella. Shake a leg. Okay, here goes, Mario. Hold up. Right there, Mario. Press A just before your enemy strikes you. Wrong voice. Oops. <laughs> You did a guard action command. Guarding well will reduce the damage you take. But listen, you can't just repeatedly tap A to guard. That will not work. Oh, remember this. The action commands change depending on the attack. Better stay on your toes. Anyway, next let's practice hammer action commands. Hammer. Once you choose the enemy you're going to attack, Mario, tilt and hold left. Release. As soon as the star lights up. Yeah, it's exactly the same as Kabu's attack, but left instead of down. <laughs> Another rousing action command success. How did that feel, Mario? Got a pretty good grasp on action commands now? Excellent. Now for a real treat. I'll teach you a really incredible technique. Gimbella, try to attack Mario one more time. You got it, Professor. Freeze right there, Mario. This time press B just before the enemy attack lands. Great. See? You turned the foe's attack back on him. I mean, her. Uh, that's a super guard. You do a super guard with B, you take no damage and damage your enemy in return. But super guards are harder to do than standard A guards. Use wisely between them. So, um, in bug fables you just press the same button and it, like, normal guards or super guards depending on how good the timing is. Super guards are just a thing in Thousand Year Door. And that concludes Action Commands 101. Ha ha ha. Sorry. Professorial humor. If you say so. If you, if you think that's humor. <laughs> hmm. How'd that go over? Would you like to practice action commands a bit more? Nope, got it. I expected nothing less, Mario. You're a quick learner. You're already a pro, I'm sure. Okay, so. Well, I do believe now we're all set for our quest. Hmm. So down below we go. Up up onto the pipe and tilt down to enter the pipe. we go.
Okay, um, we're at half an hour of recording, so I'm gonna save here. And next video, we're gonna proceed through these tunnels. <laughs> Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Next time, yeah, we're gonna continue through the tunnels and do more things. But that's it for now. Bye! Music here is really good.